In the last video, we created a shader that uses color and bump maps to suggest surface detail. But if we assign that material to our arcade model, we get an unwanted result. Our texture maps appear distorted and scrambled and don't wrap across the geometry properly. And modifying the attributes of our texture placement node doesn't improve things because the texture is warping inconsistently across the individual faces rather than uniformly. To correct this issue, we need to designate how the faces of our geometry receive texture information. If you think of our texture image as a big sheet of wrapping paper, you can imagine carefully laying the texture onto the faces of our geometry so that the image is properly oriented and scaled and lays neatly across the surface, wasting as little paper as possible. This is essentially our challenge when organizing an object's texture properties. We've already seen how three-dimensional objects are adjusted using the X, Y, and Z coordinate system. In order to apply 3D textures to an object, we'll need an additional coordinate system, represented by the letters U and V, also known as UV space. Looking at our texture map, the V values run from the lower left to the upper left corner of the image, and the U values run from the lower left to the lower right corner of the image. Each vertex of our model holds a UV coordinate value. So once we've assigned proper UV coordinates to all of our vertices, the texture will map correctly. We can see the UV coordinate arrangement for each object by selecting the model, then going to the main menu and choosing Windows UV Editor. With the UV Editor open, we can switch to component mode and select individual faces of the object. With proper texture coordinates, we would expect to see UV coordinates that are consistent with the proportions of our model's faces from camera view. So bigger faces should generally sample a larger section of the UV space, and adjacent faces should typically be right next to each other in the UV editor. But this isn't the case with our current model. For example, this front face of our model should be a larger square shape rather than a small elongated rectangle. With the mouse over the UV editor, we can right-click to select UV components, then move the UVs by activating the Move tool, W on the keyboard. You can see that shifting the position of the UV coordinates changes the way the textures are displayed without modifying the vertex positions in any way. By adjusting the proportions of these UV coordinates, we can eliminate texture distortion in this area of our model. But modifying UV coordinates manually like this would obviously be a very time-consuming way to improve texture mapping. So in the next lesson, we'll look at a couple tools that can be used to arrange a large number of UV coordinates all at the same time.